Yeah, sorry about that, folks. I really need to make these parts a bit longer <laughs> playing JRPGs. So, welcome to part two of part two of Final Fantasy IX. So, let's see if we can find the rest of the Knights of Pluto. Oh, here's another one. Hitting on one of the female soldiers. <laughs> Why am I her? Pluto Knight the Seventh. <laughs> hey, let's go to Trino, just the two of us. Mm, let me think about it. <laughs> you there, stop that immediately. Go search for the Princess Garnet! <laughs> yes, sir, I want, sir. Ugh. <laughs> It's funny because uh, Walmart is based off of uh, Cloud from Seven, which is funny since Cloud never actively, you know, flirts with any of the female. Uh, <laughs> never really goes off his way to flirt with any uh, flirt with Tifa or Tifa or uh, Eris during Final Fantasy uh, <laughs> during um, Seven. So it's kind of funny. Up here we find another and the last of the Knights of Pluto. And once you find them all. Bree Suchet, Pluto Knight, Knight, the fourth. I'm so tired. Oh, no, six. Uh, I'm so tired. Oh, Captain Sterner, do you play in this tower for exercise too? No, no, no. I'm searching for Princess Garnet. Is the princess at the top of this tower or not? I want to reach the top, but at my age, I get so short of breath. By the way, Captain, have you all received the order? Of course, all knights will obey. Hmm, is there an extra one? <laughs> ah, so you're giving orders to double sleuths, to the double sleuths Blitzen and Kohai. And also, oh, got those guys. So you're giving the orders to our most inspirational writer, Ludo. And also, ah, so you're giving orders to the most famous artillerist in the realm, Dojabon. And also, so you're giving orders to the only man I can name all the girls in town. <laughs> Why, Mar? <laughs> and also, ah, so you're giving orders to the knight with a knack for navigating the neighborhood, Hargan. And also, ah, so you're giving orders to the winner of last year's cannonball race, Mullen Kai Dahan. And that's my captain. And we get a elixir for our troubles. Let's do a quick run through the configure. Oh, these are our items. Now let's arrange these real quick. Ah, yeah. Key items also have flavor text. So, like Vivi's, Vivi's very uh, key item, a very expensive looking ticket. But once you click on it, you can see that it's a fake ticket. I want to be your crow. <laughs> As the play is actually, I want to be your canary. Now, Final Fantasy IX uses the uh, a pre-built in-class system, so characters have a classes which that cannot be changed, but they also come equipped to, with magic stones. These uh, abilities give you extra abilities in battle, like the beast killer, bird killer, bug killer. These give you more damage to certain enemy types that you find out throughout the game. And since abilities are all tied to equipment, your ability to customize how your character works in battle depends on what type of equipment you have. Now, if you completely max out said, oops, you completely max out the amount of ability points for said a piece of equipment, you 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 permanently learn that ability, so you don't ever have to worry about switching out your uh, equipment all the time. Uh, Got all together. Let's move this on. Once you make your way up to the top of this tower, get uh, uh, <laughs> probably get my favorite cutscene in the game. <laughs> Ooh, it's here, because there's ugly head. <laughs> No, I must persevere. The princess must be found. <laughs> As Dane chases Garnet on the other tower. 
That's why Blank was in front of the other tower to prevent Steiner from going up there. <laughs> Wait, over there! It's the Princess Garnet! It's Princess Garnet. Being hounded by brigands! Fear not, Princess! Your night is coming! <laughs> Five, my favorite cussing in a game, just just for the sheer, just for the sheer tomfoolery of it. Steiner foolishly ties it to the back of his armor so he can't control where he lands. And right into the side of Prima Vista. <laughs> Such a jokey cutscene. It's so fun. I just, I just love it. <laughs> Where would the princes go? Ow. <laughs> So yeah, she just goes running right past the band. <laughs> Let's give her a chase. Oh, there's Ruby. <laughs> Ruby's another member of the Tantalus group, but she doesn't really participate in too much of the thieving part. <laughs> she actually takes uh she takes her acting more seriously than the others. <laughs> yeah, in the English translation, they gave her a southern style, a stereotypical southern style accent, which is kind of weird for a game that's supposed to be set in like kind of medieval ish times. <laughs> Yeah, Ruby's the only female member of Tantalus, so, you, so she is much tougher than uh, you normally think she probably would be, but she doesn't take nobody's crap. <laughs> yeah, their plan kind of went a uh, pear shape there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it turns out she wanted to be uh, kidnapped this entire time. <laughs> There's Senna. <laughs> the 
that doesn't help your face, man. Sorry. <laughs> Here comes Steiner. <laughs> Princess. Princess. <laughs> Princess. <laughs> Ghost is blank, <laughs> just getting in the Steiner's way again. As we head on down to the engine room. <laughs> treasure chest in here that we can snatch up but we're gonna have to turn some stuff up first Turn the wheel to the left lowers the pressure. Turn the wheel to the right increases the pressure. But doing that makes two treasure chests drop. So it's quite easy if you just keep moving on with the main plot. You'll miss out on some goodies here and there. So it's a good idea to look around and interact with the environment. And we get a phoenix down and a phoenix pinion. Head on it. <laughs> Despite Steiner not exactly being the uh, the most well respected uh, <laughs> Neither Pluto, even if he has the rank of captain, he is not bad at his. Well, he is at okay. At best, okay at his job. <laughs> Playing Steiner for a fool. I mean, I, I'm really surprised, surprised he didn't find it weird that he just had an extra night out of nowhere when he was only at like. <laughs> but you know. So yeah, once again, Steiner does have some stuff to steal on him. So there's some snatching. Luckily, the dang does end up with an ability later on. The ability to detect what items enemies are carrying on them. Yeah, it's 
sent us down again. Oh, well, he is down. So we could just worry about Lauren. Steiner's HP. For the Thief type character, not only is this a Dane's main job is to steal from enemies, which basically gives you items and equipment for free, since you don't have to spend a guild on it. But um his assortment abilities allow him to do all sorts of things to other uh, to enemies or give uh, party members the better ability to uh, escape from battle or uh, turn the sides of battle, like flip over the battle screen so enemies' backs will be open. <laughs> So Steiner, using a, a cool move, splits uh, Plank's armor and releases our oblongs. And, and since, Star <laughs> since everybody is freaking out about oblongs, everyone makes a run for it. <laughs> well, Zidane and Garnet makes a run for it. That, that's the play is still going on. <laughs> <laughs> Steiner just pimp slaps and poor Senna right in the face. So they just, I just improvise right on the spot. A, a Steiner is just struck by, what the heck did I just do? <laughs> <laughs> Burn on Zorano are also other members of Tantalus. <laughs> so they are they also are in the uh, whole feeding bit part of the business. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so yes, it's, it's, it's very, very, this is probably one of the most memorable parts of the game for me. It's just uh, just going all in on the play and <laughs> just keeping up the rules. <laughs> so unfortunately, Vivi and Puck are now being caught by the Knights of Pluto, <laughs> and then Puck just judges Vivi. <laughs> <laughs> now is not the time to <laughs> ponder. <laughs> Battle with Steiner and two other members of Knights of Pluto, but they're pretty easy. Now, Phoebe is capable of casting black magic, so he's your, he's your main magic user for the game. Garnet is your early game. <laughs> is your early game, uh, White Mage. Later on, she gains the ability to use summons, but that is not to up for a bit more into the game. Vivi's big main ability during battle is his ability not just to just cast blast magic, but to also focus, which increases his magic stat, which in turn allows him to use more, increase the strength of his magic spells. Now, Garnet, Vivi, and later on a party member known as Eco can spread their magic spells to the entire party for certain spells, or target all the enemies. By pressing R, uh, R1. That's if you're playing on PlayStation. <laughs> bah, only a fresh flesh wound. <laughs> Yeah, since the uh, jig is up, it's time for uh, Tantalus to roll on out, <laughs> try to make their escape. <laughs> There's another cutscene. <laughs> Unfortunately, they're using <laughs> massive harpoons to state the uh, airship to prevent it from leaving. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
It's a monster. It's a bomb. A classic enemy type from the early Final Fantasies. Just as dangerous as here in here as it were in previous games. Unfortunately, Steiner's not paying attention, so he has this massive bomb right in front of him. It says I yell at him. Look out behind you. No. <laughs> so once the bomb is fully grown, the battle ends. Time so the girl's massive, <laughs> but by this point, it's right in front of Steiner's face. And there it goes. <laughs> I would have questioned though, uh, why would she use uh, such a powerful monster on the airship? Would I be to kill her daughter? <laughs> but uh, fortunately, Queen Brienne is. More warrior about getting back the uh, royal jewel that Garnet stole with her. Oh, <laughs> there goes one of the uh, engines. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, fortunately, uh, the Prima is now running on like fumes, basically, as it falls from the sky. <laughs> So we don't even we get far enough out of way from Alexandria where the soldiers can't chase us down. But unfortunately <laughs> we crash into the evil forest. <laughs> Which is a very bad place. Like we're falling well enough to where the mist is covering most of the ground. And then crashing into the evil forest is a good as we come to find out as the mist causes monsters to become more vicious and bloodthirsty and causes weird phenomenon. Unfortunately, while Alexandrian soldiers can't chase us down, Queen Brienne has a, uh, a secret experiment to chase uh, uh, chase the party down. I found it weird that she says she needs her alive, yet in the previous cutscene she was a massive bomb monster that would have probably completely destroyed Prima Vista. <laughs> it may even kill Garnet in the, in the process. But now she's ordering to bring her back alive. Uh, you know, details. And there goes the Prima Visa, just completely trashed. It's not flying out of here, that's for sure. <laughs> 